good afternoon. Um, our company is called Green Card. Uh, I'm Joe, this is Amar, this is Wadi, and this is Timmy. Uh, we're here today to ask for £30,000 for a 10% equity uh, stake in our business. As we all know, protecting the environment is everyone's responsibility. But as a business, it can be beneficial to uh, display your green, creden uh, creden business, uh, your green credentials. What better way to do this than with a card that highlights who you are and what you do as a business? The vision of our green card, our brand, the green card, is to use recycled card for a variety of products, highlighting uh, the uh, owner's corporate social responsibility and environmental awareness. Recycling is also financially beneficial. Uh, there was a recent uh, case study uh, carried out by Cafe Nero, who showed that um, they started recycling, uh, they increased their recycling by 18% and their annual spend actually dropped by 20%. Um, the first product that we will bring to the market is the green business card pack. Uh, here's a prototype uh, the different, of our product. The pack will consist of uh, 100 cards and a holder. Um, it's all made out of 100% uh, recycled card and is printed with soya ink, which is non-toxic and biodegradable. In business, first impressions are everything. A business card is a tangible item that can be carried away from a meeting uh, as a reminder of the recipient of the business's uh, environmental awareness. I'll now hand you over to Amar who will talk about our business strategy. Hi, I'm going to talk about our three-year business plan. Um, first of all, we're looking, at, looking at the production costs and the, and the profits per unit sold. Per pack, we're going to be looking at a £4 cost of production. And when we were looking at competitors, we found that the cheapest competitor that sold recycled cards, not even using soy ink, he was charging 7 95 per 100 pack. Our price is going to be £7.50 per 100 pack with the card holder. And this gives us a profit of £3.50 per unit sold. Um, when looking at the market size, we analysed the FTSE 100 and saw that there were 150,000 business card users approximately in that mark PLC marketplace. Um, with that in mind, we um, use a projections of um, 5, 10, 20 percent of this market in terms of having them for our sales figures. Um, in the first year we'd have 7,500 7, units sold, um, ten, um, in the second year we'd have 15,000 units and in the third year we'd have 30,000 units. Um, this gives us figures of turnover of 50,000, 56,000 in the first year and profit of 26,250 in the first year. Second year projections again um, turnover 112,000 in the first year and profits 52,500. And third year, turnover 225,000 and profits of 105,000 pounds. Um, I'm now going to pass you on to Buddy, who's going to talk about how we're going to spend your 30,000 pounds. Hi, um, I will inform you on how we will utilize your 30,000 um, pound investment. We're going to spend 8,000 pounds on uh, rent rates and uh, utilities. We'll go towards uh, production premises, printing, cutting, uh, storage, office and utility bills. We will then spend uh, £1,500 on machinery, 500 of which will go to uh, cutting machines and £1,000 will be spent <coughs> on uh, printers. Um, we will put £12,750 towards uh, raw material <coughs> costs for the first year, 7,500 uh, 7, of which will be spent on uh, recycle card and then £5,250 will be spent on the soy. We'll invest £6,000 on marketing, 3000 of which will be spent on uh, trade shows such as the Biz Trade and the National, sta uh, National Stationery Show. £2,000 will be spent on uh, trade magazines like the, uh, the Business Week and we will utilise £1,000 on internet marketing. Uh, we'll put aside £1,750 <coughs> as contingency for the unforeseen um, cost rises in the market. Um, I don't intend to insult your mathematical skills but I should um, it should add up to £30,000. I'll pass you on to my friend Tim. Thank you. Hi, I'm going to be talking today about our marketing strategy. Our marketing is planned to be strictly business to business advertising. It's going to be in three parts. The first part is going to be via internet. We plan to set up a website which will act as a business networking site for our customers. We also plan, as our base grows, to sell the advertising space to help fund the maintenance of our website. Secondly, as Vadi mentioned, we're going to invest in trade shows. We plan to attend two to three a year, which will give us face-to-face -face and hands-on interaction with consumers. Thirdly, it's our poster campaign, which is centered on literature, business literature. We're going to put it in magazines, which thousands of business people subscribe to. 
Our slogan for the poster is the card that will change the world. And the poster highlights the importance we place on recycling. And we think the green card can make a difference in the world, as you can see, it's bringing it into light. Now I'll move on to our future plans. Firstly, we plan to establish the green card as a brand that will contain other products such as pens, bins, desk tidies and notepads. Secondly, we plan to establish it as a global brand. We plan to um, spread it to the rest of Europe and we think it will have particular success in America. We also plan to create an internal recycling plant which will cut costs by creating our own supply. Lastly, before I close, I'll just say that we are currently in dialogue with government and other EU link groups to seek grants to subsidise our startup costs. But as we all know, that can be unreliable, so we're not planning to rely on it. We're just leaving it open as a possibility. In closing, I'd like to add that the green card is not just a set of environmentally friendly products. It's a phenomenon that will spread and reap big profits. I hope you take up this opportunity to invest in us. Thank you for your time, and we're happy to answer any of your questions.